everyone welcome back to my channel and today guys i'm going to teach you guys how can you make a hitbox system scratch for your platformer game so let's get started so if you want to add a hitbox system basically what hitbox is is basically like a uh real-time pollution system for like games something like that so i'm i'm gonna teach you now so let's get start so first go to custom on the player and you know, like the player sprite yep i replaced the sprite with this one as you can see the sprite is not like a box and here's the problem so if we if we go right here this will make like an awkward you know like it's a weird moment of the game like literally the face of the cat is like hanging from this whole thing here so by adding the hitbox will basically fix this problem because like it's kind of weird to see something like this it's just weird all right so let's get started so first you want to group want to group the sprite that you have so this sprite i'm going to basically group this there we go i have grouped this now okay, and move it in the middle as well and now click on the triangle tool here and then uh then just set the outline to about five or one or whatever i think the best is i think it's three i think three and you can choose the color i choose red and for the fill leave it empty and then you make a box that covers all the, you know, all the thing, all like sprite here. So make sure it like covers. So this is going to be like a box. Something like that. So as you can see, the cat is in the box right now. So now this is we got the cat hitbox on. Okay, let me remove the star real quick. Why did I do it? Okay, and then go to the cat again. Copy. And now this should work like this. Now as you can see the cat is not hanging. I just fell to the lava and stuff. But now we want to hide over hitbox because like it's kind of weird when the thing is just like this. It's generally weird and yeah, it's it looks funny. Okay, so go ahead and copy and delete it. There we go. And then create another sprite. We're going to call the sprite with the hitbox. Uh, hitbox. There we go. So this is the hitbox. Right? Wait. So this is the hitbox and the player. There we go. Maybe you can just name player of costume or something. But I'm comfortable with you know like name it player like that and then paste in make sure it's in the middle now let's go to our code here events show forever we're going to make it uh so it goes to the hitbox so as you can see we got uh the cat inside of the hitbox right now see it's moving so this is not like too, it's not like a big problem, uh, you know, it's not a big problem, this one, like this little problem here, but it's kind of like delayed, but I think that is quite fine, it's already fine to use, alright, also make sure the hitbox was in the center of the sprite as, like in the costume as well, yeah, it's it, make sure it's in the middle, how to tell this is basically, when you move the thing, like it's on this little target here, it will automatically lock when you get close to it, something like that. And yeah, we got our hitbox now. Now to basically hide our hitbox, so let's go to uh, the code here, event, wherever, and then set ghost effect to and now we will hide over hitbox here as you can see 
The hitbox is not visi visible anymore. There we go. So now let's make a, you know, like a hitbox mode on, you know, that for you to basically like test the hitbox or maybe like see the hitbox, something like that. So right now we're at the select the hitbox right here and then go to variables and create two variables. Let me hide, hide these. It's never low, I'm gonna be low. So we're there and then make a variable. The first variable we're going to make is uh we're going to make hit box mode. There we go. Hit box mode and duplicate this one, move this little sprite here, I and mean, like this little uh you know, this little block here. And then then make another variable called switch because we're going to make a switch script. And you can watch the video on the top right corner. I think it's, yeah, at the top right corner. I'll put it there. All right, now first we're going to want to set the hitbox mode to be uh, off and the switch to zero. Right, if then we're going to put in if space. I mean, like, let's use, like, the end key here. So, you can set it in any key as you want. Or something like that. So, end key toggles the hitbox mode. So, we're going to change the switch by one. And also, uh, before we, you know, before we actually using this, I just want to tell you that if you, if you like, put the script like this, I can see if it doesn't really print it. It basically like toggles on and off very quickly. So we're going to, you know, like patch that problem by using the wait until thing. So it's basically like an anti-spam. Like that. You can watch the video. I made a video of it again. I like, no, I made a video again. So click on the top right corner to see it. Yep. So right now you can now like tap it lightly I mean like you, you can now tap it you can you cannot hold it down anymore you can only press it once so there we go so that is done with this one so now let's actually duplicate this again keep the forever and discard this all right all of this so we'll, we'll be left with forever go to control uh if then else we're going to say if if switch but hold up we need mod as well if switch mod by two uh equals zero zero here and then we're going to set set the hitbox mode to and if not, or else, then we'll make another forever script. So we have it here now. Let's duplicate this one. And pretty much uh, move these. And pick up this one. And we're going to say if box mode equals off the ghost effect will goes will go to 100 if not zero so right now the hitbox mode is currently on you press this it's now off and uh, there we go so if it's on there you know it shows the hitbox and if it's off it's not going to show it and also, uh, there's this little flaw thing here. I'm, I'm quite okay. So we have a problem here that uh, the switch thing was to. So we gotta fix this. We need to replace this and this. Now nah, this should work. 
All right, now it's working. It's currently off right now. And you just press it on like this. And also make sure to hide these as well because we don't really want people to know about the hitbox system. But actually you can leave the hitbox on hitbox mode on and but not but don't leave the switch because that just looks weird. Alright, so that's it with today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.